Now let's see how we can implement inheritance into our framework, right? So until now we have built this simple script, right? Where we have written everything right from uh, instantiating the driver to setting the property and then um, creating a new instance of the Chrome driver and then writing our scripts, right? But that's not the way to follow when you are building a framework, right? So this is a simple test script, but now I will start building our framework and we will also implement inheritance into our framework, right? So let's see how we can do that, okay? So to get started, um, I would go to my source main Java and create another package here for utils, right? So let's do that. Okay, so this is my utils package and inside this, I would create a class called the base class. Now I would explain you what it will contain and how it will be useful, but this is the class we would have inside our utils, okay? Now, as you can see, this base class would have all the um, different configuration required for our framework, right? So like um, defining our uh, web driver, creating a new instance of the driver, right? Um, launching uh, the browser, um, reporting, uh, logging. So all the different configurations required for the framework would be there in this base class. Right, so I will tell you why we are putting everything inside this base class, right? So let's do that first. Okay, so I'll first create a web driver object here. So for that, we'll say web driver and then driver. Okay, we'll um, import the package here and Then um, we'll take a few things from here, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to define another annotation, which is called the before annotation in JUnit, right? And inside this, we are going to say public void setup. Okay, and then uh, we'll put these um, setup related code into okay into our base class and then okay so this is um, at before and then at after right and this will basically what it will do is it will basically close our drivers, okay? So driver, okay, so uh, the before class will basically run um, before every test method in your, um, in your classes, right? So, and after we'll uh, run after all the test methods have been executed. So that's uh, the meaning of the annotations which we have used, okay? I will tell you how it's going to work. Okay, so now what we can do is we can remove all this code from here, okay? And what we'll do is we will change the name here. We will say open page. Okay, we don't need this driver. And now that will trigger some errors here, but don't worry. I'm going to show you how you can remove this errors, right? So now, um, as you can see, a simple base class we have created here. We are just setting up the driver and then uh, we are also closing the driver, right? So that's the two functions it is performing. And uh, we have the driver instance. So that will always have the current driver 
or browser driver instance okay now how can we use these methods right how we can instantiate a driver which is inside the base class so that we can use that driver object here right um, to uh, get to the page and do all these operations so that's where we are going to implement the inheritance concept okay so what basically we are going to do is um, we are going to make the base class as the parent class right or the super class and the first test would be the child class right so this first test would then inherit the properties of the base class right so it will inherit um, all the properties like uh, the variables the methods everything okay so what we'll say here we'll say extends and we'll say here base class okay so um, we need to define uh, this as public otherwise we cannot access it so let's do that public web driver driver okay and as you can see the errors have been removed now okay so uh, in order to inherit any particular class you need to use this keyword extends okay so we are extending the base class here and we'll have access to all the different methods okay now instead of uh, using this right driver.close we don't need that you will see um, our before and after class will before method and after method will take care of that okay so this is our script now which is simply performing the operations uh, rather than taking care of the creation of the driver or um, closing the driver okay so let's go ahead and execute this and we'll see how it works all together okay so what will happen is um, it's going to execute the methods which is inside the base class right is going to create a driver object and then it's going to um, create a new instance of the chrome driver okay and then um, it will come to this class it will execute this test method um, basically going to that page uh, maximizing it and performing an assertion and then um, in the after method it is going to close this web page so it's a complete flow but as you can see we haven't written um, all the code inside a single test method basically we have written that in a separate class and we are extending that in this class right so this increases your reusability because um, now if I write more tests, I don't need to repeat my code, right? I can always use the same base class from which I'm inheriting everything. And I can just use the methods from this base class um, and that will uh, make my code more reusable, more maintainable, right? Because I need to just change, if I want to change anything, on my driver class, I will just go to base class and I will change it here, right? I don't need to change anything uh, on my test methods, right? So there is a separation of code um, and tests, right? And uh, the reusability is always there, okay? So this is how you implement inheritance into your framework, right? So define all the reusable methods into a class and then simply extend that class right for your child classes okay so in the next uh, videos we'll see um, the other concepts like abstraction and uh, also polymorphism